Second time around for you, and uh, do, do you think going into this game, you know, you, you obviously you've coached uh, Premier Grade to two grand final wins, and you've already been there and sort of done that. Does it make it any easier this time around? Oh, not really. Um, yeah, we're uh, boys are really excited about it. So I guess the guys that have done it before kind of know that it's a, a different type of dynamic. You know, we're still in pre-season mode, but we're actually playing for a, a bit of silverware, which is really exciting at this time of season. So, uh, yeah, they're really excited by it, and, uh, you know, we're hoping to win it. And uh, how's the preparation been leading up to it? A bit patchy, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> you know, pre-season's been a little bit disjointed because of all the wet weather up here. We haven't, uh, we haven't spent a lot of time on the, uh, on the pitch, but uh, fortunately now the is the, the athletics track and, and other sort of areas around the, the university. So, yeah, we, we're not as bad as it could have been, but uh, yeah, it's been a little bit disjointed and uh, you know, the last week we've been able to get on the pitch, which has been good. And it's also very interesting as well, because last time you went into this went into this game, of course you're going into centenary year, they're yeah. going into their 150th. Do you think Do you think that's uh, any more motivation for them going into it? It's a different perspective, doesn't it? <laughs> they're the oldest uh, rugby club in, uh, in Australia, so... Uh, it, prob it probably does, you know, and also they're playing you know, in Sydney and presumably they'll have a few, uh, few of their supporters there. Um, yeah, we're very fortunate that uh, we've got a common sponsor who's uh, got behind the, the event as well, Bill Cook, and, uh, and uh, Tony Suka and, and Josephine, his wife, are uh, uh, hosting a function for us after the game at their home in, in Sydney, so uh, yeah, it should be a great event. Absolutely. And of course, uh, you're taking a very, uh, very different side than the last one. Uh, how are a lot of the young guys feeling ahead of it? Oh, they're, they're just excited. Um, you know, it's the first, uh, as I said, uh, you know, we've had a couple of trials, so, uh, you know, they've, they've been just excited, I think, to, to be, to have a chance of playing Premier Grade and play with some of the more experienced guys. And, you know, if they get the opportunity uh, on Sunday, they'll, they'll you know, it's, it'll step up again. In terms of intensity. So, yeah, they're, they're just, as far as I can tell anyway, they're, they're loving the opportunity to train with Premier Road, yeah. train with the, the older guys, and, and have a, a couple of runs with them as well. Is there anyone uh, we should keep our eye out for in that sort of younger group that's coming through, or any, any of the older guys that are sort of coming up through the grades? Uh, the, the, you know, there's a, there's a couple of guys that I've been really impressed with through, uh, through pre season. You know, we've got, a, we've got some opportunities, certainly in the forward pack. Um, for guys to, to press their claims. Um, you know, in lock, we've got guys like Angus Ryan, Terran Walls, um, uh, Jack Cornelson played his first game for us, played off the bench for us after playing Colts on the, on the weekend and, and was impressive. Um, a, a, a guy called uh, Phil Potgeter, who's straight out of school, has, has just killed it in the first couple of trials uh, in the second row. So, yeah, um, it's it's just been, been great to see some younger guys get an opportunity and, you know, as a result of obviously a little bit of turnover from last year. Fantastic. Um, and finally, uh, we, I was talking to Will about this earlier in the week. He reckons, uh, of course, this is going to be quite a physical game. Mm. Uh, what do you think it's going to take to be able to beat these guys down in Sydney? 
Oh, look, obviously we haven't, um, we haven't seen much vision of, of them um, coming into the game. We just got to worry about ourselves and, and, and you know, execute the basic skills well, set piece, um, you know, defend well, um, and, and really take them on in that, in that physical area. Um, if we can do that, we'll, we'll give ourselves a pretty good chance of winning the, the trophy. Fantastic. All right, well, best of luck to you, Mick. Thank you very Thanks much for your time. Uh, if you want to follow us on uh, Twitter, it's at UQ Rugby Football Club and on Facebook, uh, University of Queensland Rugby Football Club as well. And uh, we'll try to keep you up to date with uh, everything that's going on over the weekend. And uh, until next time, keep watching. Have a good one.